deep in the heart of the desert, where the wind whispers ancient tales, stand the pyramids, eternal monuments to the labor and faith of the ancient Egyptians. These structures are not mere stone blocks. They are the reflection of an entire civilization united by a dream of immortality. Today, we embark on a journey through the ages to immerse ourselves in a world of science, craftsmanship, and the human stories intertwined with the construction of these wonders. Pharaohs, mighty rulers, whose greatness was expressed not only through power, but also in their pursuit of eternal life. The pyramids served not merely as tombs, but as true stairways to the heavens, along which the souls of the pharaohs ascended to the gods. The very first of these monumental structures is considered to be the Step Pyramid of Djoser at Saqqara, designed by the architect Imhotep, whose name still inspires admiration as a symbol of ancient engineering genius. Priests, sages, and astronomers who meticulously studied the stars and the cycles of the Earth recorded the blueprints of these future structures on scrolls where every line and symbol held sacred significance. In the luxurious palaces of the pharaohs, surrounded by golden artifacts and fragrant incense, wise counselors discussed projects based on ancient knowledge of mathematics and geometry enabling them to chisel angles and lines with precision that still astonishes modern minds. But how were these gigantic structures built? The ancient Egyptians employed remarkably precise and time-tested methods. Stone cutters armed with copper and bronze tools, wooden mallets, chisels and gouges worked massive blocks of limestone and granite so accurate that their surfaces have remained nearly perfect through the ages. Engineers utilized complex systems of levers, sledges, and ropes to move stones weighing up to 80 tons, all achieved through painstaking calculations made with primitive yet effective instruments, such as water levels and simple measuring rods. Behind each enormous stone lay not only physical strength, but also a rich social life. The laborers, often seasonal workers, rather than slaves in the conventional sense, were provided not just with food, but with beer as well. In ancient Egypt, beer was a primary source of calories and was even considered safer to drink than water. Brewed according to time-honored recipes, beer became an indispensable part of the daily diet sustaining the workers under the scorching sun. On the construction site, a unique <laughs> culture and tradition prevailed. <laughs> Families gathered during breaks, sharing simple meals, while women prepared dishes according to recipes passed down through generations. Rituals accompanied by songs and prayers helped workers achieve a sense of inner balance for each understood that their labor was not merely the movement of stones, but a sacred duty to the gods and future generations. Masters passed on their knowledge orally, teaching the young the art of stone carving, techniques of precise measurement, the social structure of the society involved in building the pyramids was diverse. From the majestic pharaohs whose decisions shaped the destiny of the state, to highly skilled engineers and craftsmen who produced intricate blueprints and developed innovative methods for lifting stones, even the common workers whose hands labored in the heat had their place in this complex hierarchy. They received not only material rewards, but also the respect of society. <laughs> As participation in the construction of the pyramids was considered an honor that granted them a share in the everlasting legacy. Interestingly, inscriptions and symbols carved into the walls conveyed not only information about the rulers, but also knowledge about the cosmos, time and space. Legacy of the ancient Egyptians lives on in every block, every line left for posterity 
reminding us how a single society was able to turn the dream of immortality into reality. 